High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, it's time again. High Plains Technology is back in the studio, being that it's Wednesday. It's time for school. Good morning, Katie Shirley. Good morning, Brett. Um, This morning I have with me Tammy Kelm. Good morning. Tammy is the Adult Training and Development Coordinator. Is that correct? Yes, there's a lot of different names. A lot of people from old days call it AT&D, and I call it ACD because at all my trainings, it's Adult Career Development Coordinator. Okay. So. Yeah, that's the fun part of career tech. We get to have acronyms, acronyms ever-changing. Like crazy, yes. Just like Biz recently changed. To WED? Wasn't it? I think it's Workforce work, Development. Work Economic, economic development. development. Yes. So yeah, we'll see how long it takes us to transition to that. But um, so Tammy has been super busy right now. It's kind of her, well, prime time gearing up. And now it's all finally about to just be in place and taking off. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Tammy takes care of all of our short-term classes that um, happen during the day sometime and in the evening. So these are um, just adult interest courses plus health careers. There's all different kind of topics, um, categories that we have trainings in. And so this week was a big week kicking off a lot of classes and last week. So um, let's just talk about some of the classes. Okay. We have um, coming up. We started this week. We started our um, we started a new long term care aid, or known as CNA class, and that class is a two week class. goes Monday through Friday, and we have the wonderful Brenda Hunter teaching that class. Um, we'll kick that one off again in October. So if you are wanting to take that class, October seventeenth, and there is still a little bit of room in that class for a couple of more. Um, students. So um, call me, get a hold of me, and we'll get you enrolled. Uh, we started off our welding program, and we have our awesome Tracy Borden teaching that for us this year in the evening. He's also our daytime instructor. Right. And um, Tracy has agreed to help us out and to kick off our evening and get our evening course going. And he's been teaching 20, 20 plus? Yeah, 20 plus least. years. Yes, from Visai. So that's awesome. And we have our sign language class. Our sign language class has been one that we've had in the past and it came back this year with a new teacher Uh we have Catherine Cockerham which is one of our Woodward students that has graduated from OSU have a health student and then turn around and now she's teaching she's came back to us and um, she has a minor in sign language so she came back and brought that back to us and that had quite a bit of buzz about it, that, that it class. Did. People were excited to see that offered. There was a lot of people that um, talked about it, and, and we've got um, we've got several in it in this, this semester, and hopefully next semester it'll kick off in even more. So That's awesome. Our furniture construction class will kick off um, Monday. So if you have a project that you would like to do or you have a husband that has said he will do something and hasn't mm-hmm. quite got it done yet, <laughs> and you're just to the end and you'll just do it yourself – Come on out and we'll get that done in our construction class. Because that's got a lot of supervised shop time, really, yes, doesn't it? Yes, Johnny and Ketcher's Johnny's side. there to help if you need. Is there to help it, help you out. And I've done that. I've built a bed for my son. Oh, wow. So um, Johnny helped me get that going. And believe me, I am no construction person. But he was able to guide me and, and get it done. That's and awesome. it, it did. It turned out really well. So. And just be able to use that shop, you know, yes. the, the money you save because to purchase. Yes. I mean, and some of those... Uh, pieces and of we equipment. have some neat equipment in the yeah. shop. We really yeah. do. Uh, we have a phlebotomy class. The phlebotomy class is extremely popular. It fills up every single time. We just we just kick that one off, and we will have another one. Um, probably won't be able to kick it off this semester, but I'm going to guess first of January when we get back, we'll okay. kick that off and, and have another class. So. Be watching our website at hptc.edu. Yes. Watch our website. Classes change all the time, and we're adding things. And if you don't see something that you want on there, our doors and our phones are always open, and we would love to hear from you and provide what you are needing. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. How do um, these classes come about? We we do have a lot of people that... Um, call and need classes. I have a BLS class that kicks off on Friday. That is just a one um, evening class. It's a four-hour class. 
and there is some room in that class, mm-hmm. but that class was um, asked. We, we had someone that needed the class, and right. they asked us to provide that. And so we found an instructor, brought them in, and created the class so that we can get that out there and get it done. Right. So they're very customizable. We And that's what we do at High Plains is if there's a need, we, we pivot to meet it and do the best we can to provide it. Right. And so basic life support, is that the class that's needed for... Basic your... life support is mostly for health care, mm-hmm. for our dentists, for our um, our nurses, um, anybody is that works. Gym owners? Was this that no, one? that's, that, that's uh, a health, health heart saver. It's a heart saver okay. one. It is kind of confusing. And if you aren't sure which one you need, um, call me and let me know what you're doing. If yeah. you can let me know that you are running a daycare or you're a gym owner and you need to have... Um, CPR in order to keep mm-hmm. your member or to keep your ownership going. I know that that's heart saver, so I know that that's the course you need. Right. So you can guide them to kind if of. If you direct don't them. know, then sometimes I can help you with that. Okay. And then, um, what else did we have get started? We have beekeeping coming oh, up. Oh yeah, beekeeping's always a fun one. Jimmy yes. Schobert out of Laverne comes and teaches that, and Jimmy loves his bees. Yeah. And he he brings that knowledge and the excitement. He has a lot of excitement about it. And he'll teach you the basics of what's going on and how to get your bees, where to get your bees, how to take care of your bees. Um, He takes his to different fields in the summertime to Mm -hmm. get different flavors in his honey. Yeah. Um, But he teaches you how to do that. He'll teach you how to winterize them, how to take care of them through the winter. Uh, he he's just extremely knowledgeable and he's really kind of fun to listen to. He That's brings his bees to the last class, yeah, and you actually get to get into a hive and see what it's all about, yeah. And the visual on that is it's really cool. That's neat. I I learned something about bees. Uh, Mrs. Goss and Tap was um, taking part of that. Acro- okay, the ag in the classroom. They had reading mm-hmm. a book. Yes. And she read a beekeeping one, talking to the students about it. And she was talking about um, if you have allergies, that you want to eat honey made locally. In your area. Yeah, yes. and made in your area, and that, that helps with allergies. I actually learned that with Jimmy. And yeah. we buy his honey at, at school. He'll yeah. bring his honey if, if I call him. Say I have five or six people that are wanting some honey. He'll say, okay, how many jars? Yeah. And he'll stop by the school and bring them to us. That's so, awesome. And that, that is kind of fun. Um, we have a basic Spanish for healthcare coming up. If you are a healthcare worker and you want to know some basic mm-hmm. Spanish, um, very needed. Yeah. We have more and more Spanish speaking people in our area, and it's it's hard to understand sometimes. And um, just to have the basic knowledge, yeah, is extremely I'm thinking helpful. Even just the basic Spanish, I'm thinking of. Um, my dad working at a bank and they're constantly in need yes. of someone bilingual. So even if you had basic Spanish, you know, yes. that's better than nothing and put you a little bit ahead on your resume. Absolutely. So, Mrs. Lara, Miss Anita Lara, does she teach those? She teaches that and our, she is phenomenal. She's our awesome receptionist. If you don't know, that's, that's Anita. So th- that'll always be a fun class with her. Another class we have coming up is QuickBooks. Yes. QuickBooks fills Andra. up. Andra. And um, I'm, I hate to say this, but it might be our last QuickBooks oh, class. Oh, man. Um, they're changing the desktop, and they're making Forcing people, people yeah, to online. And they're making people go to it. So um, QuickBooks is not going away. Right. And Just, if you have this knowledge, if you have the basic um, QuickBooks, you're going to be able to continue what you've got, but right. you might not be able to get the new program the updates and stuff yeah. so and andrea personally speaking is a lifesaver when it comes to quickbooks because that's kind of hard to find help with that and everybody that owns a business that does their own books it's very crucial to know and andrea's been my lifesaver and she's a certified quickbooks pro advisor and she loves desktop so i hate to see that going away yes. i'm sure she she does too that. but also so people know she is still at high plains and able to help you one-on-one yes so she's very busy in her other role, but just so people know, you can always still re- reach out to her. And she still plans. does that. Yes, yeah. she still does one-on-one training. So, yes, um, okay. please, if, if there's anybody out there that's wanting to know more information, has an idea for a class. Wants to teach a class. Wants to teach yeah. a class. Um, you don't have to be a professional. You just have to have basic knowledge in something yeah. and want to share it. Yeah. So, 
um, I encourage people to get a hold of us and yeah. and let's help them help everybody. Yeah. And so also, um, along with our website, uh, you want to follow us on social media. We can keep a constant kind of update of classes that are coming out. And um, so, all right. Well, anything else, Tammy? I think it, just get on our website at hptc.edu. Yep. And call us if we, if we can help you out. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Tammy, for being my guest today. And we'll see you guys back here next week on 100.1.